Ladies, ladies, I'm here on the show, and uh, since the NFL game's in a delay right now for lightning, uh, rain and lightning, well, mostly lightning, but, um, since it is, and that's probably my only video tonight, is that recap, during the good cold Dr. Pepper, uh, since that, they'll bring my only video tonight, is that recap, so I'd want to do a news video, let's get all my news in here, so let's, we're gonna start off with some wrestling, so we're gonna get right to it. So as a man by Daddy Beast Jackie Jackie Redman on Twitter. Brett Hart. Yes, Brett the Hitman Hart. Is confirmed to be the season premiere is confirmed to be on the season premiere episode of WDB Raw this upcoming Monday in Calgary, Alberta. Oh, the season premiere episode we're getting Brett Hart. Like, damn, we're getting Brett Hart? That's that's crazy. Um, his first appearance in the post Vince McMahon era. I wonder what they're gonna do. Uh, with Brett. Is he just gonna maybe be in the crowd? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe they have. They can have Brett the Hitman Hart and CM Punk. Maybe something like that. I don't know. But it's gonna be cool to see Brett the Hitman Hart making an appearance. He's just gonna come out and say, Fuck Bill Goldberg. <laughs> but yeah, that's cool. Uh, second thing I want to talk about is that's added to the to the final SmackDown on Fox tomorrow uh, before they move over to USA Network. Giovanni Vinci! He returns! Yes! Is it gonna be a match or a segment? I don't know. I think it's in the match. Could have been an in-person promo, maybe. But I thought they said last Friday he would have his first match. See, I'm, I'm curious how they're going to use him. What, it will either be a match or a promo, but either way, it'll be good to see him for the first time since April. But I don't know if I'll be probably not reviewing SmackDown. I mean, I've kind of just given up on reviewing SmackDown. I mean, SmackDown tomorrow looks good. It's But it's I got an NFL game to recap tomorrow, and it's on Peacock, so I'll literally have to turn my PlayStation, or my Xbox and watch the game, so... I'm not going to recap some anymore, but looks good. So, yeah, uh, Giovanni Vinci returns. So, Roman Reigns was asked via Bloomberg Power Players uh, in an interview. He was asked if it's better to be a baby face or a heel. He said, well, the business was it's most successful with me as a heel, but, you know, the future looks bright, so we'll see. I think baby face is an easier side to actually perform in, but it's so much more fun as the bad guy. I mean... He would have been the face of the company years ago if he was bugged right. If it, uh, if Vince McMahon would have maybe would have bugged him right, then he would have been the face of the company. Triple H and literally just in the span of a few days, got him over, just got him super over as a baby face. What and what works best is let the fans decide. If they cheer, then you know they love it. If they boo, then they're basically saying we don't want this. Don't want. It basically not accepting him as the, as the guy, but as a baby face, he's so over right now. His heel run was really good, but they're, he just turned baby face. He's going to say baby face for a little bit, because I don't know why they would turn him back heel right now. But he definitely had a better run as a heel, but I think the baby face run's going to be good too. A VNAW All Out 2024 media call, Tony Khan. Tony Khan, he provides an insane stat about all the sporting leagues in the world. Of all the sports leagues in the world, the league whose fan on average spends the most money per month on streaming video is AEW. Jesus Christ, Tony. Very weird flex. This is like those stats on the NBA where they're like, Marcus Smart is the first NBA player on Wednesday to record four steals or, or something like that. What an irrelevant stat. I don't know if that's a good thing. I highly doubt AEW's even outperforming UFC. The pay-per-views are too expensive. So the uh, first official trailer for the Netflix docuseries on Vince McMahon has been released. It will premiere September 25th. 
interesting that they mention the lawsuit. I want I want to see who speaks on it and what they're you know legally allowed to say on there. But let's just hope they are, they're honest and actually tackle subject matter that is relevant instead of it being a fluff piece about stuff we already know, and then basically just kissing Vincent Man's ass. But this should be an interesting docu series uh, to watch. You'll probably see the rise of Vince McMahon and then just just the fall. It's gonna be interesting. You got guys like John Cena, The Rock speaking of this, which is it's gonna be interesting. Vince McMahon even talked at the start of this, so it's gonna be interesting uh, to watch. Starting it off um, with this little trailer. Was it the best words from Vince McMahon to say at the start of it? What he said. Um, was, um, no one really knows me, and how he's portrayed as a bad guy or something like that, it's, it's like, yeah, we do know, you're a sexual de deviant, and with a reputation now that is forever tarnished. I mean, he can only blame himself, I mean, and I just don't hate Vince McMahon just to hate Vince McMahon, like, I don't hate him just to hate him. I've hated his I hate his creator for years, and the allegations are terrible too. I've hated him for years, just from his booking to it now the personal side. I don't hate Vince McMahon, I just hate Vince McMahon. Just to be clear, but yeah, we'll see what happens. But Stone Cold Steve Austin has been a top ten merchandise seller for WWE in 2024 thus far. He's been gone. Tw Full time for what 20 years and he's still a freaking go. Honestly, we need him show up for WrestleMania 41. <laughs> Have him face CM Punk, pal. Uh, Drew McIntyre and no poster for the Killers game in, the in theaters next Friday, September 13. I see Drew Galloway here. I, I don't see Drew McIntyre. It's probably be heel in the movie. So Tony Khan has announced the Hangman Adam Page versus Swerve Strickland at AEW All Out 2024. This Saturday is now a unsanctioned stage steel cage lights out match. Yeah, this needs to close the show. This is the best feud on AEW right now by far. Uh, to me, it's gonna be cinema. It's gonna be incredible. Just two. Two excellent wrestlers and should be in the main event. It's gonna be one of the feuds of the year. And this is basically confirming it's gonna be the main event. Just that feud's been amazing. He burnt down his newly bought childhood home. Just a crazy show. Just a crazy way to end the show. Uh, the Undertaker needs his Mount Rushmore wrestling wrestling interests, interests, entrances, excluding himself. Triple H, Kane, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and the Road Warriors. The Road Warriors seems underrated, really. I mean, I might put Shawn Michaels here. There's a bunch of entrances you could put. It's hard to name just four. So, WWE's old Titan Towers headquarters building now up for sale. Oh boy. So NXT's Lash Legend announces her new cooking show soon, coming soon called Dash of Lash. Ah yes. Only learning how to cook from the best, Shaw Michaels. I don't want to talk about, I mean, I'm going to talk about the NFL now. I don't really care about that Cody Rhodes so getting so thing, WWE or whatever, because it ultimately is not going to matter in the end. So let's talk about some NFL here. Um, the kickoff of tonight's game uh, between the Ravens and Chase is being uh, delayed until 8.40 p.m. due to weather conditions. So it's going to be a 20 minute delayed kickoff. Whatever. I'm just, gl I'm just, I'm just glad they're coming back. They're glad it's going to start soon. So 8.40 p.m. Uh, the game will start tonight. So yeah, I just want to mention that. Let's get into some stuff from JPA football. Football. So uh, Andrew Cicillano is the Browns' new play-by-play -play announcer. Um, 
There's nothing from JP Football. Let's get Adam Schefter here, ladies and gentlemen. Hours before their opener, um, about 4 o'clock, the Chiefs and tight end Noah Gray reached agreement on a three-year contract extension per his agent. I mean, it's three years, 18 million extension. That includes 10.1 million fully guaranteed the signing. It's not really a waste of money. Uh, he's a really good backup too. He's one of the better backup tight ends, I would say. And also, um, they will run a lot of heavy set this year, so that's why they're re-signing. So, I think he's a, I think he's a solid, really solid player. Backup tight ends. Good. Good. So Packers are now listing their running backs Marshawn Lloyd hamstring Manuel Wilson hip And they're tied in Tucker Craft back As questionable For Friday night's game versus Eagles In, in Brazil So Marshawn Lloyd Their backup running back would be a loss But I don't think there's too many Other two ain't really impact players for them this year uh, Steelers are releasing QB Russell Wilson as being limited in practice today due to a to calf tightness. Uh, this could be precautionary, or maybe field season may be approaching, but I don't know. So, the Commanders fired an employee one day after a video surfaced in which he made comments about the team's players being anti-gay and accused Jerry Jones of being racist and called the NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell a $50 million puppet. And these were comments made on video. He has no, no one to blame but himself. He made these comments. I mean, he said, he said, I mean, he, you can't just say all that. I don't agree with the comments he made. You just can't say that shit on video. Calling your players, calling players anti-gay. So, is what it is. A Chief Superfan, Xavier Babooter, or how you say his last name, the Chief Superfan, Chief Saholic. He was sentenced to 17 and a half years in prison without parole and three years of supervised release for committing a string of armed bank robberies across the U.S. Look, it's one thing to be a diehard fan, but I've never uh, contemplated robbing banks to support my family. This is just wild to me that this Superfan, Chief Saholic, would string all these bank robberies money. Like, it's just wild to me. Um, anything else? 10 year old high school senior was charged in the attempted murder of, um, Ricky Pearsall. I mean, we not release his name, but they can release the 14-year-old um, high school shooter's name in Georgia, but they can't release the 17-year-old shooter of Ricky Pierce, or probably because of skin color, maybe? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll talk, uh, talk about wrestling, football, uh, see, we get some, see if there's any uh, NBA here. Uh, Swaggy P says KG was better than Tim Duncan. If you put Garnett in the Spurs, they would have the same success. Come on. Swaggy P just makes this shit, this shit show terrible. James Worthy says Kevin Durant belongs in the GOAT conversation. He's great, but he's nowhere near the GOAT status. He ain't in the GOAT status. He's a great player. Don't get me wrong. He's not, he's not great. The greatest of all time. Pat Babs top five series in the NBA. Nikola Jokic, Joel Embiid, Ethan Yates, Mamma Dabal, Ivanka Zubak, Ivanka Zubak. Oh, you, bro, are you serious? Come on, man. An anonymous NBA coach implies that the Golden State Warriors are washed up, band still being carried by Steph Curry. Are we shocked? Who's this anonymous coach, Steve Curry? I oh, know he'd actually love this roster. Now, there's rumblings that Michael Malone and the Nuggets front office are not seeing eye to eye per Zach Lowe underscore NBA. They're basically rumblings, rumblings. How they're not seeing eye to eye. I mean, I don't see it, but man, we'll see. Uh, Victor Wembanyama is a favorite to win Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, Kyle Kuzma believed that believes Rob Plinka panicked and gave up on it too early. <laughs> yeah, sure, buddy. Bro, talk like he developed a superstar or something. He's a good player. He's just not a superstar. Uh, Brandon Ingram did not attend a week-long voluntary minicamp held by the Pelicans players in California. 
And they, they've been trying to trade him all offseason, so, I mean, I can't blame them. Um, I'll talk about wrestling, uh, NFL, and NBA. I might do a NASCAR nice news video tomorrow, so. I mean, it's really all I'll save here, so until next time, I'm out. Peace.